Hi, welcome to NetEase tutorial and today we will configure uh, our NetEase device as a repeater. Okay, so this model number is WF2411 and uh, so we can configure WF2419 or 242412 device as a repeater. Okay, so but configuration steps will be remain same for all. So we can extend our wireless signals by the help of this repeater so that these laptops also can get the internet through this main access point okay so this is uh, SSID that is of my main access point and this is IP address 192.168.1.1 of the main access point so but problem is that this net is router also having the same IP address 192.168.1.1 so first of all we need to change the IP address of this net is router okay so make sure that both uh, devices should not have the same IP address so before changing the IP address I will strongly recommend to upgrade the firmware of the device okay second step we will change the IP address third step we will change the repeater settings okay so first of all we will go netix website to download the firmware www.netix-systems.com support downloads and uh, select your product I am using this WF2419 and this is latest uh, yeah this is latest firmware 26th January 2014 download it save so this is 2.5 MB zip file okay so already I have downloaded this firmware so no need to download again I will cancel it so this is I have downloaded this 2419 okay so this is zip file we need to extract right click extract file after extracting we will get this folder this is firmware file now connect your netis router through the cable ethernet cable okay 192.168.1.1 select system tools firmware upgrade browse and select the file this is firmware wf2419 click this is file click on upgrade and make sure power should not be disconnected in between and do not refresh this page completed 100 percent after uh, completing this process automatically it will come 192.168.1.1 okay now second step we will change the IP address click on network LAN the IP address is 192.168.1.1 we will change it 1.10 and this we need to change the DSCP address 1.11 
save save and reboot After restarting this device, the page will open with this IP address 192.168.1.10. Okay, so that means IP address has been changed. Now click on Advanced. Now we will make some repeated settings. Click on Wireless, and Wireless status should be enabled. And Radio mode, we will select Repeater. Configuration automatic, and we will scan our existing access point. This is my existing net is select this button and click on connect. My existing access point wireless password is eight one two three save. You will uh, type here wireless password, okay, which you are using uh, your with your existing access point. So this uh, repeater settings has been completed now. So we can access the internet through this access point. But problem is that the our this uh, repeater and existing access point will have the same name. This SS name netis. Okay. So if we want uh, the different name for the repeater, okay. So we will make some changes here. If you want same name for the board device repeater. And access point. We want the same name, so no problem. We will keep these settings. If we want the different name for this repeater, so we will change multiple SSID and select this AP1 status. This multiple SSID status enable and change repeater. Okay, repeater. And SSID broadcast enable access control LAN and WAN authentication type security WPA. We will select the right correct this security authentication and type your password for this repeater. So one two three four five six seven eight save saved successfully. So now it has been configured. So now it will show. Two access, uh, two SSID, one for existing access point and one for this repeater. If we want uh, the same SSID, we will disable this option. Okay, so now we can connect to repeater through this SSID. Our password was one two three four five six seven eight. Okay, now we are connected, so we can get the internet. Okay. So this is settings. If uh, you want configuration steps, so just uh, visit www.netis-systems.com. Okay. And uh, if you have any query and any problem with this device, so just send a mail to India underscore support at the rate netis systems.com. Okay, so thanks for watching.